there used to be like a overhang that my dad built like almost like a loft looking thing and it was only like this wide but there was like a door there that had like an attic crawl space in it and nobody ever went up there or anything obviously so but you can see it when you're sitting at our kitchen table and i always remember like when i was younger like, i would always be like what's up there like and the one time dan told me that there was like little golf ones that went in there and for years i believed it yeah why wouldn't you yeah right it's hilarious what you can make kids believe mm-hmm. welcome back to the channel guys i'm john what's going on everybody i'm steve Episode Deuce. Deuce. I was just editing the first one today, too, so it's like pretty fresh in my head. So if you got any questions. You know I always have a ton of questions, man, because I don't know anything about um, like these people too much outside of Lord of the Rings. Right. And you do. I'm sure most that's most people, though. Maybe not. I would assume the bulk of people that like really enjoy it probably read the books. No? Mm. Not necessarily. Not a lot I'm of people sure. like to read. I mean, I'm sure there is a big chunk, obviously, but you never know. I know I liked the first one, even after I was rewatching it while editing. It was. I liked it too. It's a good little setup. I just don't know. Maybe we'll get some dwarves in this one. We're gonna have to go back to them like, eventually. Yeah. And then what's gonna? My biggest question is what's gonna happen with? Because they didn't make it clear. Did the message that Gilgalad sent to Celebrimbor about him being Sauron? Hmm. Did that get there already? And he's just ignoring it, it, it and doesn't, doesn't give a shit. And or like, or he's like, eh, I don't really believe. You know what I mean? It didn't seem like it, right? Because how could you ignore that? Well, he might be thinking like, because he's like hyper focused on building these, rank, creating these rings. You know, Celebrimbor is. So he might be like not Was under he, like. Oh yeah, because he had just finished that furnace. He was building him even without Sauron, right? No, he was built. He was just building the new forge to keep making the rings. Right, that's what I mean. He was going to keep making them even without Halbrand. Probably, yeah. But now it's going to be bad because now these rings are going to be... And um, what was the other one's name? Kyrdad? He was like the, the teacher right. or something like that. Shipwright. He looked at them. I'm assuming he could tell that they weren't bad. Well, no, I think he looked at them the same way uh, Galadriel looked at them. Like, Where he fell in love with them? You do, but it's not like a... Evil. Yeah, because right? they don't like have Sauron. It doesn't Sauron's. seem like it's been corrupted by him. Because there was even a part of it, the episode, I forget what it, who said it, but there was something along the lines of, like, there's... I know uh, Galadriel said that these haven't been, like, created with Sauron's influence on them, but they're not, like, 100% sure of that, you know? Because he was kind of involved in creating them, but also not. Because he left, and then they, like, I think they made him, if I remember correctly. He was just helping, like, start the forge up and the process and whatnot. Might be, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't either. Well, let's do it. Okay. In the dream, there's a kind of branch under the start. It appears we're being followed. It's gotta be a staff, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. The interesting thing is, it's known that Gandalf wasn't supposed to be in Middle-earth until the Third Age, but it's also been rumored by Tolkien, I forget which book it was rumored in but that he might have come earlier to like check things out so maybe that's what they're playing with with him he must be informed that Halbrand is Sauron Forgive me. what is Halbrand what can he do is he a wizard uh no but he has he's the same like being as like Gandalf as the wizards the Maiar I think they're called damn that's crazy the evil is spreading. Which is him poisoning the land. Yep. Oh, and it's going to cause a doom. You're the one said we'd be wise to tighten our purse strings. Or were you not including yourself when you said that? Hmm? That beard is so crazy. It's awesome. Brace yourself. Oh God. Good thing he moved. What are these? Works, I think? No, it's the place is falling apart. I know, but why? What was that spreading? Like the the evil from I Mordor. Know. You don't think that was... It wasn't like, literally anything. Oh, just like the... Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh my god, could you imagine being pitch black? Oh good, they kept the same intro. I like this what, one. Um... That was interesting though. I don't know why that was closing like that. I was gonna say, well, was that just like it like caused like the mountain to close? Guess we'll have to wait and see. 
Calabrimbor. They did not tell me you had arrived. What news? I've had an unexpected visitor. That's cool looking though. I think she's seeing this. I think it's, I think it's a dream. There you go. This is what she says at the beginning of Fellowship. That's cool they had him say it. Oh. Sauron is alone. Without army or ally. Region is protected by two rivers with miles of curtain wall of dwarven stone, ten foot thick. Rest assured, Calibrimbor and the secrets of his craft are safe. <laughs> you once considered him a friend. Halbrand was not. Sauron. You cannot face him alone. Didn't they go ask what's his name, Gerdad, what he's been saying? This is where Calibrim Boy is? Yeah. Even this place is all everything the elves do is cool. Well he can refuse all he cares to. I promised Lady Galadriel before she left that I would never treat with him again. Oh, okay. Was there something more? I believe he's injured, my lord. Let him be. He'll leave soon enough. Messengers from Lindon should arrive with news any day. I have a feeling he's going to get in there sooner. She's going to let him in. Yeah. Oh, that's the messenger. Yep. That cool ass tube with the message in it. You said it killed the messenger. Yeah, but who did that? Whoever he had to do it. You think so? Of course. I would assume. Why, why, why would anyone else randomly kill him? How would he know that? Because he's Sauron, man. I don't know. These are the ones looking for Sauron. Oh, maybe. Oh, shit. It's kind of like a Saruman look to him. Oh, not again. The Eastar will surrender to me. Because if he doesn't, I will slaughter the halflings he calls friends. Good luck with that. My preference would be to avoid the path in which we would run out of water the first day and die of heat the second. But perhaps that's just me. These are all wise ass now. Almost sounds like hoofs. Hooves. Found oh, them real quick, huh? Yeah, it went that far, <clears throat> I guess. Not oh, shit. Oh damn, look at it now. It fell apart. I'm still a little confused about what hit it. Just like that blast that came out of the mountain. Yeah, it's like the mal it's the dark malice that came from out of Mordor. With your approval, sire, we will find the light. You have it. Imagine belting out a song so hard that it, like, creates a void. Oh, made it worse. The bond is broken. The hand of darkness has closed around Kazakh doom. Dig carefully, Del Master. Very. 
no wonder we can't hear the mountain. Its king is deaf to the sorrow of his own son. Still your axe, Disa! You want to show true strength. Summon your son to you. Hash that shit out. He'll answer. Lay a finger on me again. I'll bite it off at the knuckle. <laughs> Can't be having that. Yeah, he'll bite his arm off at yep. the wrist. Yeah. If we hadn't have thrown Elrond out to rot, we'd have food enough for 500 years. You think this is about food? We can't hear the mountains anymore. I'm afraid, Durin. I'm afraid. These are. Their arguments are petty now because it's something bigger. Right. He refuses to send me without you. And why is that? You know the reason. I'm asking if you know. You'll keep me in check. In choosing to wear those rings, you have all chosen to become his collaborators. I will have no part in it. I'll give him credit for stacking to his morals. If our friendship ever meant anything to you, please leave. Damn, Elrond. I think he still ends up going somehow. Maybe. We do not yet fully understand. <laughs> That's things, pretty crazy. But look They're all attracted to it. They exert over every form of life. For it is not your enemy that bears these rings, but your most trusted friend. If you believe they have strayed. Do not abandon them, but rather open your eyes and guide them before the darkness spreads across Middle Earth. He's gone. One hundred percent. Great speech, right? I would have gone. Yeah, I'm trying. I want to go. <laughs> what are you doing? Get back here! I saw it. I know I saw it. Come on, Poppy. He's not breathing anymore. Was it a mirage? I guess not. It's got the flag on it. Or is it a trap? It's a trap! Uh, I've got it! <laughs> well, that's not good. Can bring everybody there. Yep. Staff. Creepy ass masks. Yeah. Take cover. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There's no way those dudes are alive in there. Oh shit. That's why he needs the other staff. Won't well, break. Ah. Uh, oh my god. Somehow the other group's gonna find them first. Yeah. Uh visitor, is he still? The night is cold, my lord. Shall I bring him ashore? He got like, he gave her that look, you know, like where he's going to dupe her and then we're going to dupe him. The crazy ass umbrella. What about the High King? Surely he wouldn't neglect to send word of... Oh, I see. It's the oldest tale there is, isn't it? <laughs> He's such a cunning bastard. Are you weeping? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am reveling. We gotta build more. I 
I did not come here to toast the elven rings. But to plead with you to make rings for men. Rings for men? You saved the elves. Uh, elves are not men. <laughs> men are covetous. The risks of, of corruption are far greater. He's right. There are forces in this world beyond evil, Calibrimbo. And sometimes they send aid in the form of an envoy, uh, a messenger My sent heart. to bring guidance to the ears of the wise. Like Gandalf. Uh, soon, every realm will fall. Not just elves, but dwarves and men. The darkness is growing stronger, and the rings of power are our last hope of restoring the light. Hey, he said it. Yep. Palbran? Palbran? He's gonna freak him out somehow and convince him to do it. Yeah, well, how did he even do that? Well, he is not a mortal being. <laughs> Oh, man, that was the drink you were saving. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I have walked through the dust of the deserts of faraway lands in search of an artist possessing the crown. Is he talking from the fire? All Middle Earth. Never again will the world overlook you as the mere scion of Feyenoord, but forevermore revere you. He really said the thing. Yeah. A sharer of gifts. Anatar. 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 I'll explain later. Lord of gifts. Because I have a feeling it's going to end right here. Oh, wow. I was way off. Not even close. <laughs> That was the same actor, though, right? He really looks a lot different. Right? Crazy what a wig can do. Elrond's task is not to join your company, but to lead it. Oh. He's like, I'm in charge now. Yeah, because he's not corrupted. No chance. Yeah, zero percent chance. Oh, thank God! They did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's some sort of invitation from Lord Celebrimbor. Needs more Mithril. He wants the dwarves to come to Eregion. Okay, now the Mithril the, is the key to the the rings. rings right? Yeah, a lot of people were confused in the first season about that. How, why this guy. Once he like figured out, like we everyone figured out, he's Sauron. Like, all right, well his name's Halbrand, so it can't be because when he deceives them, his name's Anatar in the book. Okay, but that's he he technically that was his name, the name of the guy who deceived Celebrimbor right, into creating the rings as right the Lord now. of the Gifts. Correct. Yeah, uh, we we didn't it didn't even cross my mind that he could. I thought it was only if he got killed he could change. You forms. wanted to know what his abilities were. You know, it's also funny. That's him, isn't it? Yeah. We've uh, we're looking at the pro like the Amazon Prime menu, and it's got. Can I tell you, man? It doesn't look like um, Halbrand oh, at all. No. Shaved his beard, the blonde hair. Yeah, it's like a form for for him to look otherworldly to Celebrimbor, you know. Yeah. To convince him, it's crazy to see them deceive like that. So he was able to do that because. Cal Brimbor, because he had already tricked Cal Brimbor, right? That was what the king had was saying about Galadriel. Because, like, once he's earned your trust or something like that, then he can, like, alter, he can, like, change your thoughts. Yeah. So it's kind of like once he saw him, he was able to. Yeah, not not to that degree, right. but it, he doesn't have, like, a literal, ma I don't think a literal magical ability to do that specifically. He's just a smooth talker. He's a smooth talker and knows how to, like, we've like just like he did at Galadriel like use your weaknesses so against you so he can kind of read 
Maybe that's what it was. Like once he, once you like trust him, he can like read your thoughts, like feelings. He, well, one, well, yeah, over time, yeah. Like once he gets to know you, like anyone else that was able to do that would be. But like he knows Celebrimbor, like lives for this. Like this to, to create is what his everything he does is for that. So he knows like that's the way in. And then all he had to do was tell him he was a which he's lying but not lying <laughs> you know like he is an otherworldly yeah. non-mortal he's just Sauron right exactly he's been there for like a long time Sauron I'm assuming on Earth yeah not just as Halbrand he was uh, somebody else and then left and then well no he was there as Sauron because he was uh, right but was I mean in different, forms, in different forms well he was yeah he would have probably been in that form that we saw him and get killed as so that's why Gandalf can't control his powers yet because he's so new. Probably, yeah. And like, it was interesting the way he ex- uh, Sauron explained it to Celebrimbor. That's precisely exactly what I was explaining before. Right? Like every now and then, the gods will send like a, a being down, a messenger. a messenger, which is precisely what the wizards are. But then you get bad ones like that are were corrupted long ago, like Sauron and Morgoth was the original. He was one of the, um, I don't know if there's, because there's the all god who they mentioned last episode. And then there's like the god beings that are, that created Middle Earth and all this. And then one of them was Morgoth who went evil. And then from Morgoth you get Sauron and so on and so forth. It's crazy because two episodes in, we still haven't seen any of Anon, what was his name? Anon Arendir, the badass elf dude. Yeah, we haven't seen him. We haven't seen any of the men yet, like Isildur or um, what's his face. Only Albrin. He's not even a man. No, <laughs> <laughs> he's not even a being. Yeah, well, that was him going to Mordor first, and then. I like that though because that's like the the whole crux of the story, you know? Not crux, but like the whole the main plot of the story. Yeah, is how he deceives into getting like because that's why your one of your always biggest questions is like how do these rings get made? knowing what happens i still don't really get how he was the one that killed the messengers how we even knew there was messengers coming well i mean he's got magical well, abilities he can, he can sense it of course Maybe you know, he's, he's not an idiot Galadriel said not even in head. he just knows these things are gonna what they're these things you know what i mean like these things are gonna happen like but this isn't like how like if they use the power of the ring like that he can sense it right no. That's only if he has the other, the one yeah, ring on. Right. Because, like, his whole goal is to... But, like, that one ring is, like, his? Yeah, it's the one ring to rule all of them. Right, but it was, like, made specifically for him? Yeah. That's why, like, if you use it, he knows? Uh, I don't know if that's the reason why, but yes. I'm sure we're going to get that in this season, yeah. him creating... Explaining, like... Yeah. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's how it'll end. Like I said, my, my lore is rusty, and I but I... For some reason, I don't think he creates the one ring there. He go once the other rings are created, the seven for men and the four was it four for dwarves? I forget I what it was. But seven and nine, I thought. Maybe. They do all those, and then he eventually creates. I'm pretty sure he forges the one ring in secret in Mount Doom. After the fact, obviously, all of them are created, and Kelgrimbor thinks he, he did this good thing, and all they're all going to be helped, and then he creates this one, and they, you know. You know the story. And then he that. controls all of them. Correct. Including the elves, right? Or no? No. Just these, however many he's making? Yes, which is what I was getting confused with in the last one. Like, just like Celebrimbor said, like, oh, we can't do that. Men are too easily corrupted. And I forget what he said about dwarves, but that's precisely what happens. They're just not strong enough to with, because they, like, they're greedy and, you know, all that. Or as where elves are just to be, like, pure. More pure, right. So far, so good. Very good. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, I like it. Like I said, I just like seeing a different time period of The Lord of the Rings come to life. Yeah, and just the story. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.